Canon has been steadily expanding its mirrorless camera lineup. The EOS R6 Mark II was released in late 2022. Very recently, Canon has officially announced that a successor variant of the R5 is on its way. In today's video, we'll compare the existing R6 Mark II with the R5 Mark II. We'll explore their specs and features along with their price range and how they might fit into your photography or videography workflow. Whether you're considering an upgrade or trying to decide which camera to invest in, this comparison will help to guide your decision. So, let's start the video. Design the Canon EOS R5 Mark II and R6 Mark II both showcase Canon's commitment to ergonomic design, but with some remarkable differences. The R5 Mark II retains much of its predecessor's design, featuring a magnesium alloy chassis and weather-sealed exterior. It's slightly smaller than some competitors, weighing 746 grams with battery and card, making it comfortable for extended use with professional lenses. It also includes cooling vents on its underside to minimize overheating issues. The R6 Mark II, on the other hand, emphasizes curved contours and soft, grippy surfaces, offering a more comfortable handling experience compared to some hard-edged designs from other manufacturers. However, it may feel slightly unbalanced with larger lenses. Both cameras come with excellent EVFs and rear displays. The R5 Mark II introduces a new 5.76 meters dot OLED viewfinder with eye control AF, while the R6II's EVF offers superb clarity and contrast. The R5 successor features a 3.2-inch Vari angle touchscreen, whereas the R6 II has a slightly smaller 3-inch display. Control layouts differ between the models. The R5 Mark II maintains a familiar button arrangement with some refinements, including a full-size HDMI port and tally lamp for video shooters. The R6 II uses a three-dial control system that may require some learning, and some users might miss dedicated ISO and WB buttons. Both cameras showcase Canon's proficiency in design. The R5 Mark II caters more to professionals and the R6 Mark II offers a comfortable experience. Feature Both the Canon EOS R5 Mark II and R6 Mark II provide significant improvements in key areas, particularly autofocus and image stabilization. The R5 Mark II introduces a refined intelligent dual-pixel AF system with deep learning technology, also known as AI autofocus. This system can recognize and prioritize faces, even storing up to 10 faces for quick selection. It also features specialized modes for sports recognizing key actions and prioritizing players with the ball. The R6 Mark II similarly impresses with its AI autofocus capabilities. It excels in subject recognition and tracking, particularly for humans, animals, and vehicles. The camera's ability to respect user-defined focus areas while still recognizing subjects is a great feature. Both cameras offer high-speed burst shooting, the R5 Mark II can shoot up to 30 FPS with a new pre-recording feature, capturing up to 15 frames before fully pressing the shutter. This feature is particularly useful for action and sports photography. The R6 Mark II also offers smooth and responsive operation for fast-paced shooting scenarios. The R5 Mark II claims up to 8.5 stops of stabilization, though real-world performance may vary depending on the lens and shooting conditions. The R6 Mark II offers up to 8 stops of IBIS, but tests suggest that optimal results are achieved at around 4 stops of compensation. In terms of video, these cameras show both strengths and limitations. The R5 Mark II introduces proxy recording to speed up video workflows, while the R6 Mark II's IAF and tracking perform well for vlogging and self-filming scenarios. However, both cameras may struggle with more complex camera movements when using IBIS for video. Overall, these cameras represent significant advancements in Canon's mirrorless lineup, with the R5 Mark II targeting professionals and the R6 Mark II appealing to enthusiasts. Performance The R5 Mark II maintains its predecessor's 45-megapixel resolution but introduces a faster sensor and processor 
reducing rolling shutter distortion by up to 40%. It also features new AI-powered in-camera edits, including upscaling to 180 MP and noise reduction. While these features show promise, they may produce a slightly processed look upon close inspection. The video capabilities of this camera offer 8K 60fps RAW video and 4K up to 120fps in 10-bit. However, it lacks open gate recording, which some competitors offer. On the other hand, the R6 Mark II, with its 24-megapixel sensor, provides excellent image quality with attractive color rendering and impressive high ISO performance. While its resolution is sufficient for most users, it's not particularly remarkable compared to competitors. Both cameras excel in low-light situations, with the R6 Mark II maintaining good quality up to ISO 6400 and only showing significant quality loss at ISO 12800. The R6 Mark II's 4K output is sharp and detailed, with effective autofocus performance. While both cameras feature in-body image stabilization IBIS, their effectiveness varies, particularly for video work, where traditional supports like tripods or gimbals may still be necessary for optimal results. Price The Canon EOS R5 Mark II comes with a premium price tag of $4,299 for the body only, positioning it firmly in the professional market. In contrast, the R6 Mark II is more affordable at $2,500. While the R5 Mark II offers more advanced features, the R6 Mark II provides excellent value for semi-professionals, despite being pricier than some direct competitors. Final Thoughts Choosing between the Canon EOS R5 Mark II and the R6 Mark II ultimately depends on your specific needs and budget. The R5 Mark II is a more advanced and feature-rich camera, targeting professional photographers and videographers. Its 45-megapixel sensor, 8K video capabilities, and advanced AI-powered features make it a versatile tool for those requiring the highest image quality and resolution. However, the R6 Mark II shouldn't be overlooked. It offers excellent performance in a more affordable package. Its 24-megapixel sensor, while lower in resolution, provides superb low-light performance and is more than adequate for most applications. The R6 Mark II's ergonomics and user-friendly design may also appeal to enthusiasts and semi-professionals. For those primarily focused on video, the R5 Mark II's 8K capabilities give it an edge. However, the 4K output of R6 Mark II is still impressive and may be sufficient for many videographers. Ultimately, if you need the highest resolution and extraordinary features the R5 Mark II is the better choice. But if you prioritize value, excellent all-round performance, and don't require 8K video or 45 megapixel stills, the R6 Mark II offers a compelling alternative that doesn't compromise much on quality and functionality. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think about these two cameras.